Welcome to this MYS in studio, Great State Basketball Recap. I'm Joe Rulin along with Dawson Blank. And this weekend, 557 teams competed in this Great State tournament. Great competition, but also involved was it a variety of different locations. Yeah, Joe. This weekend we had nine playing locations that did a great job amplifying and elevating the experience. Host groups in Rockford, Buffalo, Delano, Coon Rapids, Spring Lake Park, Cottage Grove, Prior Lake, Fridley, and White Bear Lake. There were 37 brackets at those locations, and like you said, 557 teams. And the competition for those 557 teams consisted of grades 3rd through 6. Let's join Kua for an update who brings a lot of swag and juice to basketball. He'll bring the 3rd grade competition. Hi everyone, Akua Kennedy here from NYAS. Third grade, we had three tiers, 37 teams competing across three different tiers. Three tier champion was the West Tonka, defeating St. Cloud by a score of 26 to 15. Our tier two champion was Rogers, defeating Coon Rapids with a score of 17 to 14. Tier one championship was played at Prior Lake High School. The game of the year was Eden Prairie defeating the Minneapolis Heritage Hustlers with a score of 28 to 18. The other semifinal game was Blaine defeating Lakeville South with a score of 26 to 18. Championship game, congratulations to Eden Prairie. Back to the studios with Joe Cool. See you later. Thanks, Akua. Hey, we are joined now by Eric Rathke, the program director for years has led the great state basketball program. And uh, Eric, welcome. And tell me a little bit about the milestones that you've seen over the course of the year or represented this year. Definitely, Joey. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything we're doing. Um, yeah, it's exciting. Obviously, the numbers this year, the biggest ever in the great state of history. But I think more importantly, too, just everyone coming together to one common goal for the kids. Obviously, the sportsmanship over the years has gotten a lot better. We put a lot of different, uh, I guess, avenues or different projects together to obviously help benefit that. And that's been going great. I think just the enthusiasm of watching the games, a lot of buzzer beaters, obviously, over these weekends, which has been awesome to see. The kids are excited. The parents are excited. The fans, you know, the officials, everyone involved is just excited. That's what you want to see. And that's the bottom line. It's for the kids. You want them to have a good you know, experience, whether it's win or lose. And you can always learn more on your losses. So hopefully that's people are taking that out of it. But um, it's just a phenomenal experience for the kids. And you continue to kind of elevate and amplify the experience. This year, you have uh, coverage on some of the championship games by NSPN TV. Without question, that is uh, just another, I guess, feather in the cap for the grade state tournament. It's exciting to see. It's another, uh, they can hang their hat on. I mean, who wants, who, who doesn't want to be seen on TV? You know, so you can hang your hat and you tell your friends little bragging rights, puff that chest out a little bit, going, hey, I was on TV. Mom, dad, grandpa, grandma. So it's it's exciting to see. We're always trying to add more excitement to the great state, to really blow it up, you know, make it as, as special as it can be. And, I, you know, hopefully we're, we're doing that for the people out there. Hey, Eric, thanks for joining us, and thanks for the energy and the commitment you have to the great state program. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's for the fans and the kids, and we're just, we're just glad to be able to offer this um, experience for them. Thank you, and we're going to join Akua for this fourth grade recap. This past weekend, we had 157 community-based fourth grade teams competed in 11 tiers. Here are your tier champions. Tier 11, congratulations to White Bear Lake. Tier 10, we have the Central Wildcats. Tier 11 winners were the Lakeville South. Tier 8 winner came from Rochester Mayo. Tier 7 winner was St. Peter's. Tier 6, Annandale. Tier 5 winner, Eden Prairie. Tier 4 winner was Minnetonka. Oh, we have Tier 3 winner, Minnetonka. Congratulations to Blue Earth, Tier 2 winner. And our Tier 1 winner was the Minnetonka Skippers defeating St. Louis Park Orange with Chaska defeating Wyzetta Park for the third place game. Those were the winners from the fourth grade. Back to the studio. 
Thanks, Akua. Hey, and congratulations to all those teams that placed and participated at that fourth grade level. Dawson, amazing numbers continue to keep coming in. 176 teams at that fifth grade level this year. Yeah, it was uh, very competitive, some awesome matchups. Uh, fifth grade tier one was featured on NSPN.TV. Um, and I just want to talk about that and then just give a quick rundown on the champions. Uh, in fifth grade tier one, we had a great final four of Apple Valley and Delano and Rosemont and Eastview. Uh, Apple Valley, Brown advanced to the championship game along with Rosemont, the Irish. And then in the third place game, Delano and Eastview squared off. Eastview was the eventual third place finisher and Apple Valley Brown were your champions of fifth grade tier one. We had Eden Prairie place fifth and Prior Lake as the consolation champion in fifth grade tier one. In some of the other tiers, the champions were fifth grade tier two, Moundsview Green, fifth grade tier three, Minneapolis Lakers, fifth grade tier four, Chanhassen, fifth grade tier five, Orono, fifth grade tier six, Zombroda Mazeppa, fifth grade tier seven, Owatonna, fifth grade tier eight, Wyzetta five, fifth grade tier nine, Rochester Lourdes, fifth grade tier 10, Hermantown Hawks, and fifth grade tier 11, the Magic from Monticello. A big shout out and major props for the teams that placed, as you stated, the 66 teams that placed uh, with medals and to all 176 teams for their participation in this weekend's tournament. Hey, and it doesn't stop there. Also, tremendous numbers, great activity, but now we go to sixth grade. The sixth grade continues to climb and elevates those numbers now to 187 teams this past weekend. Yeah, Joe, again, awesome competition, great games, a lot of great feedback from the different sites with the number of fans and spectators watching some of these games. Just great finishes to a lot of these brackets. We also had 6th grade Tier 1 and 6th grade Tier 2 featured on NSPN.TV. And you have the ability to still uh, capture that footage today by going to NSPN.TV. For 6th grade Tier 1, we had the Sweet 16 in that tier, and we ended up with the semifinals of Tonka against Shakopee and Edina against Chaska. Edina advanced to the championship game, and Shakopee, the Sabres, advanced to the championship game. In the third place game, we had Minnetonka against Chaska, and Minnetonka was the eventual third place finisher with Chaska taking home fourth. In the championship game, a great game, Shakopee ended up becoming the champion of Tier 1 over Edina. The Blaine Bengals took fifth place, and Eastview, Lightning, were the consolation champions. In the other tiers, sixth grade Tier 2, the Minneapolis Jerry Gamblers finished first. In sixth grade Tier 3, the champions were St. Louis Park. Sixth grade Tier 4, Lakeville South. Sixth grade Tier 5, Woodbury White. Sixth grade Tier 6, Bloomington Jefferson Blue. In 6th grade, Tier 7, Bloomington Kennedy. In 6th grade, Tier 8, Lakeville North. In 6th grade, Tier 9, Byron Bears, the Byron Black Bears. In 6th grade, 10, the ESCO team traveled down to take the big uh, championship home. In 6th grade, Tier 11, St. Louis Park Black. And in 6th grade, Tier 12, St. Louis Park White. Again, 71 teams were awarded medals in 6th grade. And 187 teams, as you stated, were participating in this weekend's event. A great collection of teams from all over the state of Minnesota, and it was awesome to see the great competitions and the games played. Hey, and allowing and you know, allowing all this to take place and support it as well. Of course, a lot of those community efforts as well come through with the MYAS and those leaders and tournament directors. Yeah, I mean, a big uh, shout out to the 150 plus associations that are were represented in grade state that are part of the Minnesota Youth Basketball Alliance for their partnership and support and, and for the representation of all their teams in the weekend's events. Also a big shout out to our tournament directors that represent our organization on site and ensure successful operations of the tournaments and take pride in a lot of the things that go on there with if it's award ceremonies or if it's just making sure that the competition 
is being played in a safe, positive environment for the kids. And our dedicated tournament hosts, they were there to make sure that everybody had a, an enjoyable experience at their playing location. And ultimately for them, they have this ability to use this tournament or each playing location as a fundraising mechanism for their organization where they are able to take in the admissions and concessions and utilize that for their program and their local community. Excellent effort by everyone all around. And what it represents is that the longer they continue with this grade state basketball tournament, the stronger it continues to get and the amount of particip participation as well from associations across the state. Congratulations on a job well done. Thank you. And I'd like to say thank you, everybody, for your time and dedication to youth basketball. We are excited about, as you stated, the pure number of associations from across the state of Minnesota participating and the collection of the 1,540 teams that participated in grade state over the course of the first two weekends and this coming weekend, our 7th and 8th grade boys weekend. Hey, that recap is concluded for this weekend, but join us again as we refuel and bring you the 7th and 8th grade recap coming your way next weekend. I'm Joe Rulin along with Dawson Blank. Thanks for joining us on this MYAS in-studio Great State Tournament Recap.